here backstage now with Suzanne Jackson of Sosumi.ie. How are you, Sue? I'm good, just after finishing that signing session and book session there, so I'm on a high. The girls were absolutely so sweet, so stylish. I can't believe teachers are so stylish. <laughs> when I was in school, the teachers weren't that stylish, but no, I'm no. good. And uh, you were talking about your blog a lot out there, and it's just a huge success. Um, did you ever think that it was actually going to be such, like, going to get such a big audience? No, never in a million years, because I was just a normal girl on a reception desk in a job, just writing because I was passionate, you know, I never thought for one second that I'd have even 500 readers a day, let alone 400,000 readers in one three years on, you know, so no, not at all. Was there a turning point in your career that the blog got bigger or anything like that? Yeah, there was actually, um, well, it was always kind of steady enough, but in October last year I posted a photograph of a wedding dress that actually went viral. It's on my Facebook page still. It was liked over 1.6 million times and it was shared over 500,000 times, so loads of followers came from that because they were sharing the photo. But yeah, that's when it really skyrocketed. That's when I went from 20,000 likes on Facebook to like 40,000 likes in a week or something. How would you rate the fashion of the Irish people and do you think there's anything that they should change? Oh my god, the fashion um, in terms in Ireland has just improved so much. Like even three years ago when I started blogging, you know, and when I worked in Topshop a couple of years ago, I thought the Irish couldn't dress well at all, including myself. I'd be looking girls going, no, I'd be in Topshop going, no, that doesn't go with that. Why is she buying that? You know, I nearly wanted to shake her, going, no, please buy this. And that is the, the role of a stylist. You do kind of help, you know, somebody shape or uh, dress to their shape or their style. But um, in terms of the Irish girls now, like even today, all those teachers there coming in to get the book signed, they're so stylish. One girl, she's got the tartan on, the girls got the, you know, the burgundy cutters going on. I think the girls now are so fashionable and I think that there's a lot to be thanked for in terms of fashion blogs now. Is there any time that you actually just like sit at home and just like lounge around in your like Fatma pants or your tracksuit pants or anything like that? Yeah, every day. <laughs> I'm on my blog in my fat pants, in, in my trousers, just there. Like I actually record my YouTube in my pajama bottoms with a fancy top. How embarrassing is that? But you know what? When you're at home, you have to be comfortable. But yeah, no, there is a stigma attached to bloggers where they have to look good all the time. You know, I'm human, so you can't be expected to look amazing all the time. You have to have your Okay, well that's all from us here now. Thank you so much for being here with us, Sue. Thank you. Thank you.